Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Psychology World. Thanks so much for your support. When was the last time you thought about attraction? Was it an hour ago? Five minutes? Ten seconds? It's likely that other people are thinking about it as much as you are. Here are seven psychological things we do that make us less attractive. Number one, acting cool and distant. While procrastination might feel good, it isn't attractive. In 1992, Two psychologists named Marlon and Beach were curious about the relationship between how many times you see someone and how attractive you find them. They had four women pretend to be students in a large intro psych class. At the end of the semester, students in the class were asked to rate how attractive they found each of the women. What the researchers found was that the fewer classes a woman attended, the less attractive she was rated by other students. The other students basically forgot about her. I'll try to remember this study the next time I have to psych myself up to go to class. Number two, acting clingy. It's the classic young love phenomenon, constantly hanging out together. Three social psychologists from the University of California, San Diego, conducted a study on the relationship between people's physical proximity and how much they like each other. The researchers made a surprising discovery. They asked students to name who they liked and disliked. The researchers found that the students' most liked people were those they frequently met face-to-face. -face. But the researchers also found that the students' least favorite people were those with whom they were forced to spend time. In other words, watch out that spending too much time with your crush doesn't end up with you getting on their nerves. Number three, acting as if you don't like your date all that much. When grandma told you, it always pays to smile, was her advice backed up by science? Psychologists Curtis and Miller randomly paired participants. One student in the pair was led to believe that their partner either liked or disliked them. Those who thought they were liked were nicer, and their partners ended up liking them more. The researchers concluded that so-called reciprocal liking is a self-fulfilling prophecy. If your partner thinks you like them, they'll be nicer to you, which in turn makes the whole relationship better. And the opposite is also true. If they think you don't like them, They'll be meaner and the whole relationship will suffer. Turns out grandma was onto something. Number four, revealing too much too soon. In 2011, researchers told female undergrads that their Facebook profiles had been viewed by male students and that they would now be viewing the profiles of those guys. You can probably imagine that the women were intrigued. The women were split into groups and were told either that he liked their profile or that the researchers didn't know whether he liked their profile. The women were most attracted to the men who didn't reveal whether they liked the women. Why? The researchers decided that the more the women pondered the mysterious man, the more he was on their mind, and the more intrigued they became. Austin Powers' nickname was actually pretty honest. The magical man of mystery does get the dates. Number 5. Going on boring dates. Two psychologists in Vancouver, Canada, did a study on misattribution of arousal which is when people make mistaken inferences about what is causing them to feel the way they do. They had an attractive female research assistant give male participants a questionnaire. In the first group, she asked them the questions while they were on a scary suspension bridge. In the second group, she asked them while on a low, small bridge. Those on the scary bridge were more excited because of the bridge and were more attracted to the research assistant and more likely to call her later. On your next date, don't just get coffee, that's boring. Instead, go see fireworks or ride go-karts. Number six, using cheesy pickup lines. Psychologists who study attraction have identified three general strategies for pickup lines. Cute slash flippant, like your place or mine. Innocuous, like what do you think of the music? And direct, like can I buy you lunch? A study asked men and women which pickup lines they prefer to receive. Most strategies worked for men being approached by women. However, women tend to prefer innocuous and direct lines over cute slash flippant ones. Bottom line, groaners aren't attractive. So now you know, asking someone did it hurt when you fell from heaven is scientifically the lamest possible thing to say. Number seven, not having a wingman or wingwoman. Some people treat dating like a competition, but did you know there's lots of room for cooperation among friends? Having a third party make the introduction may be the best strategy of all for guys trying to pick up women. Especially in today's dating world where there's more choice than ever, 
daters have to overcome many hurdles to catch someone's interest. Having someone make the introduction for you automatically moves you past the difficult first stage and makes it clear that you're nice enough to have friends. Sorry, James Bond, but in the real world, the best romancers work in pairs. In today's fast-paced dating world, people are quickly judged on first impressions. But don't worry. All you have to do is make sure you never do any of these seven unattractive things and you'll do fine. Although, bringing chocolates never hurts either. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Thank you.